Oh my goodness. Guys, did you guys by any chance see the Logan Paul fight? Because if you didn't, um, I think you're missing out on something. Something that was very spectacular. Um, obviously people want... Before I even get on that, guys, welcome back. I, I have called us here. I have summoned all my, my, my little K's to this meeting, this emergency meeting, due to over, overdue, to because, because of the Logan Paul and Mayweather fight. We all know a lot of people don't like Logan Paul or the Paul brothers in general, but the one thing that I think people should start respecting, if we are going to respect them in any way, shape, or form, is their desire their determination, something that I love and that I've talked about on this channel a lot of times is determination, not quitting, not stopping, never giving up. And I think Jake Paul and Logan Paul are right now today is one of the best examples, not the best, but one of the best examples. No matter what people say about you, and there's a lot of people saying a lot of things about the Paul brothers, no matter what they say about you, don't quit. Don't stop. That's it. That's the key. I know that sounds so cliche, but don't stop. Don't let all the crap and all the stupid BS about what everyone thinks about the Paw Brothers blind you from seeing the one thing that truly matters, and that is their determination. That's so important. People would get so caught up in just talking shit about the Paw Brothers, but they won't see something that is like, people want to know, what's the key to life? How do you do all these things? What do you, how do you get better? And they say it. They say it. The Paw Brothers say it. We just, they, 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 they don't give up. They don't quit. And that's it. I mean, if you want something, you gotta go out and get it. And the Paw Brothers are such a good example of this. I cannot overemphasize this enough, guys. To say that you started on Vine and then you transitioned to YouTube and now you're finding one of the world's or the world's best boxer ever is something to be very proud of. And everyone that wanted to say that, oh, he's gonna lose, it's rigged, it's fake, blah, 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 doesn't matter whether it's rigged. It doesn't matter whether it's fake. It doesn't matter, m matter, matter if I can speak or not. It doesn't matter, guys, any of that. Okay, it, it doesn't. What matters is he's here. He made it. He is in the same ring as Mayweather. I can't say that. You can't say that. None of us can say that. But, well, unless someone who's watching this by happenstance that can actually say that, congratulations. I want to see him fight a real boxer. Believe me, I want that. But... I think people are missing the big picture or they're only seeing part of the picture. And there's a whole other half of the picture that people aren't really seeing. They're, they're, dude, they aren't even trying to see it. They're so caught in the first, what they see first. And people do that over and over and over again. They see just one side of it and they think they know everything. And it's like, yeah, I get that part. Believe me, I want this too. But are you seeing his determination? Because Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they're taking the chance. They're, take, they're risk takers. They're taking the chance and they're at the point where they're at because they take risks. Everyone who does not take risks stay in the same goddamn spot that they will be in forever because they don't want to take risks. They want to, they just get too comfortable. I guess the moral of what I'm trying to say, the point, my point is, is stop being so comfortable. Like, please, this is, I, I say this first because I, this is so important. People, you, 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 you will never succeed. You will never get to where you want to be if you're always being too comfortable. You have to take chances. Be determined. Something, please, be determined. Don't stop at your dreams. Don't stop making videos. Don't stop doing YouTube. I'm not going to stop. You can have slow days. You can take a chill bell. You, you, you can relax. You can do what you need to do to get your mind right so you can continue. But don't stop. If you started something, you started it for a reason. That's so important. You started that for a reason. So why would you stop? Why would you stop doing what you started? I mean, why did you start to begin with? That makes no sense. Why would you start something but not finish it? If you're not going to finish it, why would you start it? Make sense of that. Someone make sense. Make it sense. Make it make sense. Since that make none. That don't make sense. Don't ever quit on your dreams. That's something that you cannot do. And I'm very serious about this. I do not quit. I don't care what it is. You don't bash others' dreams. You don't ever do that. If someone is doing something, don't say you're wasting your time because potentially they could be seeing something that you can't. 
And I've seen this happen so many times. People are making a fool of themselves by believing in something that the populace don't believe in. And then guess what? When that person is successful and everyone who made fun of him, everyone who doubted him is left behind, it's no longer funny for those people who were making fun of that person, of that individual. Because now that individual is successful and everyone else is wishing that they didn't miss out on it. Happens all the time. A big amount of people believing one way does not make them right. The majority just means these people were persuaded more so than these people. Whether their persuasion is the right type of persuasion or the, or the deceitful type of persuasion, they were still persuaded. Everyone is persuaded. At the end of the day, persuasion is what kind of makes the world keep going. You got to persuade, whether you're persuading your parents to buy you a PS5, whether you're uh, persuading your mom or your dad to buy you a sport car, you know, whether you're persuading your, your parents to let you go out to this party that has your, you know, this girl that you want to, you know, get with, all, you know, you're persuading. Whether you're persuading your friends to ride this roller coaster because they're scared and telling them something a pussy. Whatever the case is, <clears throat> you are persuading people to do things. Things that they want to do and they're just too scared to do it and you're giving that nudge, peer pressure. Or you're just persuading people to do things that they don't want to do. Whatever. Or you're persuading people into a type of thinking that you want them to think. Sometimes you just got to say, I believe in this. Regardless of what anyone else says, I believe in it for a reason. Do not let other people talk you out of what you believe in, ever. Because if you were right about what you believed in, because you could see something that they couldn't see, and you miss out on what you believed in because you listen to them, the majority of people, if you miss out on what you believed in, that's your fault. Because you listen to these people. That's it. And, you know, that's just me being real. It's me being real. I've, I've, you know, I've been there, done that. I've, belie I've listened to other people, to other entities, whatever, um, corporations, anything you want to say. Because I've learned in hindsight, if I kept, if I had kept listening to myself, oh my good, I would have things that I don't have today. And, um, yeah, that's my message to you guys. I know it was kind of weird using the the Paul brothers, but, uh, I know, um, I just wanted to make sure that people can see something that they could potentially be missing and that's their determination and that is their desire. And, um, that's something that we should not, I guess, oversee, um, overlook is someone's will, their willpower, determination, desire. You don't want to overlook that because no matter who they are, I, they can be the biggest asshole. You, determination is admirable. I'm not saying I like them, but I respect it. And look where it's got to them. I want that. I want what they got. I want what they have. I want that willpower. I want that determination, that desire, their level of desire. And I've spoke about this on this channel a lot of times. I want that desire. And you guys should yearn for that. So anyways, that's all I got, guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope I said some. I, I hope I said something that was. I can't talk. I can never talk. That was uh, actually beneficial for you guys. So, anyways, see ya.